Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and I am going to try to do Melina's challenge this week. Uh, first thing I think she did, and I'm not even sure what did she call them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I've never got what she called them. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. Uh, first thing she did, I think, is cut this off. And I'm just using some junk mail envelopes. We're going to cut the end the furthest away from your opening here. So I've cut that end open. And then she slid in here something that you wanted to show through to the front. So I have kind of pulled out some papers. Just I have got lots and lots of just little tiny, tiny scraps like this. I mean, they are tiny. And that's what we're going to use. I want to use some of these little tiny pieces up. So I want to find something to put in there. Now I have these little bunnies and mice and things. I'm not sure that they would even be small enough to go in there. But let's just cut one out and see. This is just some little a scrap piece of paper that I had off of a collection. I think from last year. Well, it might if I cut that bottom off a little bit. See. Well, I actually cut him. I cut him too much. Okay, we're not going to put that in there. I cut it too much. So let's just find something else that we want to put in there. This is a piece of old wallpaper. I think that would be pretty down in there. Since this one's basically going to be based on greens. And yeah, I don't mind that in there at all. So let's just put that down in there. You can tell I'm really, really planned, can't you? <laughs> oh, law. Yeah, I uh, I saw actually saw her video a few days ago, and I think I just put that upside down. Yeah, I did. Let's turn it around. And I only watch it one time. I try just to watch them one time because I don't have time to watch two or three times. And then I forget by the time I get ready to do it. But I think this is what she did. And then she glued this down. And just glue it at the top. Don't glue it all the way down in here. You'll close up part of your pocket. So close that up. And then she folded this over, and this is going to be like your little flap, your little top flap. So, let's see. I think I'm just going to fold mine up to about right there. Okay, so I can talk to y'all about, I know everybody's saying, I want to hear Brooklyn, Brooklyn stories. Well, Miss Brooklyn is texting me this morning. <laughs> she is on the bus headed to singing with the rest of the group and she evidently the other girls the older girls must have their iPads and electronics and everything out because she texted me a little bit ago and she went nene um, my birthday's coming up next month which is May and she said I just wanted to know what kind of iPod you was going to get me <laughs> Oh, it. I said, oh, is that what I'm getting you for your birthday? Yes, Nene, you always tell me to, to tell you what I want. So I'm telling you that I, that I want some ear pods, not iPods, ear pods like these big girls have. She said, mine are for babies and I don't, I'm not a baby anymore, so I don't want them. I said, okay, Brooklyn. I said, all right, pick out what kind your daddy says that you can have. I said, I don't know that much about them, so you'll have to pick them out, and he'll have to send me a link that, you know, that they go with your electronics that you've got, because I can't just buy any of them. They might not work. She said, oh, I don't have to ask daddy. I know exactly what kind that goes with mine. <laughs> so, so this little turkey is sending me a link to what she wants um, as far as her iPads. Um, ear pods are concerned. I keep calling them iPads. Don't know why. 
Okay, so what we did is we folded that over and then she folded the front one over a little bit more and then cut it off so that this will be like your, see, she's texting me now, look, Brooklyn. See, it says Brooklyn. <laughs> she she um, folded this one over a little bit more so that when you fold this flap down, you still got a little bit of opening there. And then we're going to punch a pull in this, but I'm going to wait until I cover it with paper. So let me make sure that I haven't stuck my little envelope together down there. And I haven't. Let's see what she says. She says, because I found a case I like, and it's for the second generation ones. <laughs> oh, me. So now she's found a case for them, too. So... Y'all just hang in there for the saga because guess what? Nanny will be buying her some for her birthday, I'm sure. I always do. She, I'm a sucker when it comes to that kid, I'm telling you. All right, like I said, I just have scrap paper. It is just some little pieces left over from different projects, and they're just tiny little pieces. But I want to use them on here and just make this more of a like a greenery and a neutral type pocket. So, and I'm just using my ruler to do my cutting with because to me, it's a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna use my little piece of a mat here and then my glue stick to put these down. And the reason I use this mat, it's a non-stick mat and I can take it and wash it, wash all that glue off of it as soon as I get through, or three or four days from now, and then use it over and over again. I don't have to worry about using my book pages up, because you know I don't like to use the book pages for that. And I know some people say, well, get old magazine pages and use those. Yes, I could do that. But I don't have any old magazines, and I'm not going to go and buy old magazines just to use for my glue when I can just use that and wash it and use it over and over. Okay, let's see. Uh, why don't we put a piece of this down here. Now, this doesn't have a straight edge, so I'm going to kind of cut it where it'll be a little straighter anyway. And this is just a little scrap of coffee dyed paper yep my child is a mess and I will fold this around probably let's see I'm going to come up to about right there she's our little girl girl and our Bethany is graduating and just a couple of weeks. Can't believe that. <sighs> My kids are growing up. My babies are growing up. It just seems so unreal. So unreal that they can get so big so quick. Okay. Ooh, that fits perfect right there. And as far as the Aaron, a lot of you have said, I want to hear Aaron's stories too. Aaron is, he is happy as a lark, singing. Uh, he did a little, uh, he did a little video the other night, I say video, a live on Facebook. I don't know if any of y'all caught that or not, but he sang a few songs for everybody because he always gets requests to sing different songs for different people so he did that and like I said today they're gone to sing I think they're singing in Aniston and oh I don't know where else they've got three singings this weekend so he's happy with that I mean that that just makes that kid happy it doesn't take anything except a little bit of singing and he's happy and ready to go So not too much of an update on Aaron, really, because like I said, he's just, he's been, I mean, he's been over here helping me a lot in the shop. 
and he's been helping me with the house because as you know my house is a total disaster area so I can't lift a lot of the heavy things so he's doing a lot of the heavy lifting for me there we go I'm gonna put that right there so he has been doing that he's been he cleans my upstairs that's the only part that he can still clean because the downstairs is a disaster area so he cleans the upstairs and he's helped out here in the store packaged up e-kits yesterday getting ready for the May mail outs so Aaron's just busy 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 and then he cleans at home too he does most all of their cleaning at home so he's he's a busy little boy or I say little boy he's not little but he's still little to Nana. He'll always be my little boy. All right, let's put that there. I think that will be okay. And I'm just gonna tear the end. I, I tend to like the ends torn a little bit more than I do just a straight squared off end of there. And I'm just gonna see how tall I want this. So yeah, he's, he stays busy and he likes to stay busy. He likes to work. He likes to earn his own money. And he's got a checking account now. or a, He calls it a debit card account. He, uh, they got him a de little debit card. and Teaching him how to use that. And he's just, he loves it. He don't use it though. He don't want to use it. Because he knows if he uses it, it spends his money. <laughs> so, and then they got Bethany one that's part of her graduation they started her a checking account and Aaron's like Bethany you don't need to spend your money don't spend your money Bethany's like okay Aaron I won't spend my money and he said you can't spend it because if you spend it you won't have any more money so he knows he knows what it's all about so yeah we got tickled at him Telling her not to spend her money. See, I just use anything that I have to tear with. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, I feel like I've got too many little lines going this way, so I want to put something to kind of block it off. I want to put something across, not that. But, let's see, this is just a little piece that I saved. And that would be cute. It just says, simply enjoy it all. So we might put that little piece on there going across. Sometimes when I end up putting too many in one direction, it uh, helps a little bit to break it up if you either put labels on there or put something going the other direction. So that's what we're gonna do there. Okay, let's see. And see, I don't mind that, but I do want just a little bit of something right here to break that up. Don't want much. Just a little tiny piece. And see, I'm thinking just a little piece of this wallpaper right here might do the trick. A piece right there. Yeah, I like that much better. And I'll probably put a little label or something here. Now, on this one, 
let's see, we need to cover this, but let's find something to cover this first. I mean, look at these tiny scraps. Most people would probably just throw these away, but not I. Not I. Oh, let's see, I may have to go in my stash to try to find something to cover that top with. Let's just use that. That kind of goes with this, and it breaks all of that green up a little bit. And I want to carry it on down on the back, so I'm going to put it about like that. I just need to trim it off the side. And I'm going to put my glue on here, actually. So you can get all of your updates on the Brooklyn and the Erin trivia here. <laughs> Just tune in. And Hubby is out mowing grass. And hopefully he's not getting stuck because our driveway and our um, yard is still a total wreck. We've had a lot of rain, so we've got lots and lots of wet spots out there. So, I don't know if he, hopefully he's not getting stuck, but you know how men are. They think they can go through whatever, and they just keep on going. I said, please don't get stuck, because I don't want to have to come and pull you out. And he said, I'll try not to. All right, there we go with that. Cute, I like that. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put my little, I think she put a little um, brad in here first. That'll work. It's a little bit limey green, but it'll work. Now I'm gonna reinforce where I put this just because if I don't, it's going to be kind of weak. That's going to be too big of a hole. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Oops. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I'm going to put just some scrap pieces of paper under here just to reinforce that a little bit. That way, it'll make it a little bit stronger for when I close, use it to close up the opening. And, yeah, that should work. We'll just punch that little hole again. And then we'll put our brad in there yes that looks great now i'm going to cover the inside and then i'm going to round the corners but i'm going to cover the inside first maybe for the inside we'll use this what do you think so i'm just going to trim it down a little and then see if that'll slide in there and i think it will yeah it slides far enough so that will work let's go ahead and put that down there I'm just going to use my art glitter glue to put that down because I can kind of slide it, slide the little nozzle down in there. Okay, let's go ahead and put our pull here. Well, that was a deep little pull and it's not even straight, but we're going to go with it. Now we'll go ahead and round these corners. I can't remember if she rounded her corners or not, but I just think that makes a good look. Okay, so there is our little pocket. Now we can put a string around that to close it. Let's use some of this cotton here. Okay. 
And then I think she just wrapped it around like one, two times. I do believe. Did she wrap it three? No, I think she wrapped it two. And then she brought it back under that, maybe. Like that. So then we can cut this off, the little tail sticking out here, and cut that piece. All right, and then spread these out a little bit. This makes it look cuter, I think, but okay. So that is one of those little pockets. Now, I'm not sure if she covered the back of hers or not, but I don't think I will because I think I'll glue it straight down on my page and maybe glue it here, here, and here and have another tuck on this side and then make a tag to go in it. So I don't think I'm going to glue or put anything on the back of mine. So there's one. Let's go ahead and make maybe one more. I've got plenty of little scraps here. I think I'll make one in the neutrals, the neutral colors, maybe. I've got quite a few of these little neutral pieces we can go for. Okay, let's grab, this one's got a pretty big opening there, so let's go ahead and grab it. And I'm going to cut the end off just a little bit. And that's the end away from your opening. Okay. Then we find something to put down in there. And that's like an old book page. Oh, well that's a Carol of Holly. That's Christmas, so we're not going to put that in there. This is some that was sent to me by a sweet friend last week. I opened it up and showed it on the video. I think the video actually went up this morning, but if I remember right. Okay. Now this is very, very brittle. So it will take very little tearing on this to do the job. There's nothing like that brittle feeling to the to the book page. I don't know, it's just, it's almost as like a very soft material. Okay, I'll use those little scraps elsewhere. Maybe use them on the outside of this, who knows. Let's see if that works before we put any glue on it. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, let's put our glue on here. Now, I'm going to make sure that's pressed down, but not sticking my envelope together. There we go. So, we've got that in there. Let's go ahead and close up our envelope. I will flip it back over and just do a little folding here. And it doesn't matter how much you fold it over. Just fold it to where you want it. You have those days where everything you touch, you just knock it right over. That's my day today. I dropped a whole deck of cards. I was trying to pick up cards that the kids had been playing with upstairs. And I was bringing them down, and I dropped the whole set, and they went everywhere. Well, and I'm still under restrictions as far as bending over. So I can't, I'm not supposed to bend over past my waist. So therefore, I had to say, uh, hey dear, can you pick these up for me? <laughs> he said, why did you bring those down? <laughs> I said, well, I was trying to clean up all I could and I just dropped them. He said, sure, I can pick them up. No problem. He said, are we going to play 52 card pickup? And I said, well, maybe. But, alright, there we go. 
So we folded that over, cut the front piece just a little bit shorter than where we folded there. So let me go ahead and ink that fold and that'll give you an idea of where the fold is. I know it's hard to see on the camera. So see, there's where my fold actually is and I just cut this one off a little bit shorter there. Now we will start gluing some of this on. So let's start with this. Yes, that works good right there. And I may just, let's see. No, I'm going to tear it off. I started to say I might just take that around to the back side, but I think I'll just tear it. And if this is a tiny bit too wide, then I'll just trim it off. Not a biggie. And I'm sure it's going to be just a little bit too wide. And let's see. I think I'll just go ahead and put that little piece on the bottom. Not upside down, though. Yeah, we can just trim it. Everything is sticking to my fingers. And let's see. run that piece right across there and I'm just going to tear this end I don't know why it just to me it looks a little bit better gives a little bit more interest try to take it straight across there we go all right then see, nope you can see through that so we're not going to use that No, I don't want to do the pretty flowers. So let's try that piece right there. I think that will work. I'm just going to put my glue on here. And I'll probably stitch around these so I'm not too worried about getting every piece glued just perfect. Now, I don't know about you, but I love watching people do their collaging. I love it. I don't know what it is. It's just something about it that I enjoy watching. But um, you may be completely different. You might not want to watch anybody collage, but it just interests me. I, I just, I don't know, it's relaxing. I like sitting and watching them do that and seeing what piece they're going to use next, that kind of thing. Just, just enjoy it. And put that right there and looks like I may have to trim it off just a tiny bit more so I'm just gonna go in with my scissors and try to do it hopefully I won't get it too bad botched up oh, that'll work right there uh, Rachel when she collages and I love sitting and watches watching her it's just, she just does it. it, it's like it flows so smoothly to her and I just enjoy sitting and watching her work with it. Right, what else? Let's put, let's see. Oh, that's not quite the right size. Let's put a little piece of this on there just to break up some of that. And I think that'll be about the right size. Somebody else that I love watching collage, and that's Carol Law. I don't know if any of you watch her, but I love watch, watching her collage. She, too, seems to have that neck to make it just flow and all the pieces work together. Okay. All right. There we go. Now let's trim around this piece. Make it look a little better when we trim around it. And I love collaging. I may not do it as good as they do, but I love collaging because 
it helps you use up those tiny little pieces that you really wouldn't use anywhere else. I think I just cut my envelope. Did I? Uh, yeah, I did. Maybe a little bit. You know what? It'll go right back together. All right, there we go. Problem solved. Okay, that's gonna come over there. I don't like this little piece right there that's kind of, it's got a little square there. So let's try to do something with that. Maybe a little label or, let's grab a label. Let's grab a little Tim Holtz label here. Put that there. Yep, that'll work. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of ink around it. And let's see, anything else? No, nope, I kind of like the rest of it okay. So <clears throat> now let's find a piece for the outside. And I may just go with this again. And then we can put some kind of label or something on the top. So let's just do that. And I'm going to take it on down past the fold like I did the other one. Okay, and then I'm going to go under here and put my glue there too so that I can press that down. And that goes on over to the back side. I'm going to go ahead and fold. You probably should wait till it dries. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pick out our eyelets. This one we need, really need a brown or something. I don't know if I have any brown. Not in here. Um, I have a gold, that'll work. I'll just use the gold. Okay. Guestimate eyeball the center. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and glue my little piece on on the inside. And I think I'm going to glue that piece right there. Just a little reinforcement. Then we'll put our little eye, uh, bread in. Not eye, but bread. Okay. And then we'll put our paper on the inside. Now, what paper are we going to use? Uh, don't think that's going to be tall enough or wide enough. Nope. Let's grab something else. Let's just use this on the inside. Since it's on the cover, inside cover, it doesn't really matter. Well, for some reason, there we go. That'll work right there. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect. That'll work. Just gonna push it on down in there, holding it, and then I'm gonna put my glue on here. And run some glue right down in there, and then we'll press that down. Now I'm gonna trim this end off because to me it looks a little crooked. And I, it is uh, still wet with glue, so it won't trim very well, but hopefully we got it a little bit better. Okay, and again, I'm going to fold. this. I don't like to wait. And we're going to round the corners. See, it's still real wet with glue, so, but, all right, now let's try to punch our little pull right here. And hopefully I can punch a little smaller one this time, maybe. There we go. That works. It's still off center. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. You know, that's life. 
I'm a little off center myself most days, so there we go. Put that down. I like that. Now I am going to put a label or something up here at the top because that's so plain. So let's see what we might want to put there. All right, let's do a little piece of our doily. And these are the doilies that we sell in the store. We've got more being cut. I've had lots of people that have asked for them. These are the one and three quarter inch that Benji has designed. He has taken out a little bit of the design in there so they'll cut quicker because we were selling them so fast. He couldn't keep up. So, um, the next ones will be as, as pretty. They just will have maybe a little bit fewer holes in there. Okay, let's look in here and see if we can find a label that we want to use. Yeah, I like that one. And let's just, where do we want to put that? And then I'm going to put a little bit of ink on our doily here. Make it look a little coffee dyed. And there we go. Isn't that cute? Let's put some string on there. Right. And then wrap it. Wrap it. And then it comes back to here. And there you go. Grab this one back out. So there are two using up quite a few scraps. So that's that many more out of my little box. And I'll probably keep making a, quite a few more of these. They'll be good for your to keep in your stash. And if you make them neutral colors, you can use them in any of your journals. So that's Melina's Scrap Buster video. And I have no clue what week it is. But I will put the link to her video below and go over and check it out. I'm going to go ahead and put a label right here because this seems to be a little bit bland on the top. So I'm just going to put me a label there. And I may end up putting a little piece of doily over here. Who knows? Let's see what we got. Yeah. Let's just cut a little piece off. And we'll run a little piece right there. And then put a little bit of ink on it. Just give it a little bit more of a distressed look. And there you go. There are two uh, pockets. Flip over pockets. Let's just call them that. I don't know what Melina called them, but we will name them something in the video. We'll talk to you guys later. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button. And if you would, share this with people. We are trying to reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers by our anniversary. And our anniversary is June the 15th. And I think we'll be married 49 years, if I'm not mistaken. So we're trying to reach that goal. And we'd appreciate your help if you would to share and ask your friends to subscribe. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.